Have you ever wondered how some people manage to live a life unburdened by financial constraints? A question that might have crossed your mind once or twice, right? Well, that's what we're here to explore today. The mystery of financial freedom through real estate. You see, financial freedom is often misunderstood. It's not about having a mountain of money or living a life of luxury. It's about having the power to make choices that aren't dictated by your bank account. It's about having the ability to live life on your own terms without the constant worry of financial instability lurking in the shadows. Many people believe that financial freedom is a privilege reserved for the elite, the rich, and famous. But that's one of the biggest misconceptions we need to debunk right here, right now. Financial freedom is not an exclusive club. It's not a destination attainable only by a select few. It's a journey that anyone can embark on, regardless of their current financial standing. But how, you ask, it all begins with financial literacy. Understanding the concept of money, how it works, how it grows, and how it can work for you is the cornerstone of financial freedom. It's about mastering the art of managing your resources, making informed decisions, and planning strategically for the future. And while there are several paths to financial freedom, one avenue stands out from the rest, real estate. It's a sector that has proven time and again to be a reliable source of income and wealth creation. It's a realm that offers numerous opportunities for those willing to learn, adapt, and persevere. So, let's debunk another misconception. You don't need to be a millionaire to invest in real estate. You just need to arm yourself with the right knowledge, the right mindset, and the right strategy. Financial freedom is not just for the rich and famous. Anyone can achieve it, and real estate might just be your ticket to it. So, are you ready to decipher the mystery of financial freedom and take that first step towards a life unburdened by financial constraints? Why do so many successful investors swear by real estate? It's a question that hangs in the air, echoing in the minds of those seeking financial freedom. Well. It's no secret that real estate is a tried and true investment channel. From the moguls of Wall Street to the savvy next door neighbor, many have discovered the power that lies in owning property. And it's not just about the prestige of having a title deed in your name, but the financial benefits that come along with it. Let's delve into the fascinating world of bricks and mortar. Imagine owning a piece of land or property. You're not just holding a piece of earth, but a potential gold mine. Why? Because real estate offers two significant financial rewards, income generation and asset appreciation. Let's talk about income generation. When you own a property, you can rent it out. This creates a steady stream of income, a cash flow that's often more stable and predictable than other forms of investment. This passive income can supplement your regular earnings or even become your main source of income, providing a safety net that many dream of. But that's not all. Real estate also appreciates over time. Yes, the value of your property today is likely to be higher in 5, 10, or 20 years. While markets fluctuate, real estate has historically shown a steady upward trend. This means when you decide to sell, you could reap a substantial profit from your initial investment. Now, let's hear from the experts. They've walked this path and reaped the rewards. They talk about the satisfaction of seeing their properties increase in value. They speak of the joy of providing a home for a family and receiving a steady income in return. They share stories of how real estate investment has brought them financial security and freedom. So, what's the allure of real estate? It's more than just an investment. It's a tangible asset. It's a piece of the world that you can touch, feel, and utilize. It's a pathway to financial freedom. So, you're convinced about the power of real estate. But where do you start? Well, it's not about rushing to purchase the first property you see. It's about taking thoughtful, calculated steps. 
The first one is to educate yourself. Start by understanding the real estate market. Read books, listen to podcasts, attend seminars. Knowledge is power. And in real estate investing, it's your most valuable asset. The next step is to seek professional advice. Consult with a real estate agent, a property manager, or a real estate attorney. These professionals can provide valuable insights into the market, help you understand the legal aspects of property investment, and guide you on how to manage your properties effectively. Next, understand your financial capacity. How much can you afford to invest? Remember, real estate investment isn't just about the purchase price. It includes maintenance costs, taxes, insurance, and possible vacancy periods. Be realistic about your financial capabilities and don't stretch yourself too thin. Now, let's talk about research. You need to investigate the neighborhoods you're interested in. What are the property values in these areas? Are they trending upwards or downwards? What kind of amenities are nearby? How are the schools? What's the crime rate like? All these factors can influence the success of your investment. Finally, set your goals. What do you hope to achieve with your real estate investment? Are you looking for a steady cash flow? Or are you aiming for long-term capital growth? Your goals will guide your investment strategy and help you make the right decisions. Remember, real estate investing isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. It requires patience, diligence, and a willingness to learn. But with the right approach, it can be a powerful tool for achieving financial freedom. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So, take that step today. Real estate investment is not always a smooth ride. Let's delve into the challenges and how you can conquer them. The journey to success in real estate investment is often riddled with problems such as property damage, managing tenants, and understanding market fluctuations. So how can you navigate these hurdles? Firstly, have a contingency fund. This is a safety net for unexpected expenses like repairs and maintenance. Secondly, screen your tenants thoroughly. This helps to ensure that you rent your property to responsible individuals who will take care of it and pay their rent on time. Lastly, stay updated on market trends. Understanding the real estate market's highs and lows can help you make informed decisions about when to buy or sell properties. Challenges are part of the journey, but with the right strategies, you can overcome them and achieve financial freedom through real estate. Let's take a moment to recap what we've discussed so far. We began by unraveling the mystery of financial freedom. It's not a magic trick or a get-rich-quick scheme. It's about taking control of your finances, making informed decisions, and setting yourself up for a future where you're not tied down by financial constraints. We then explored the power of real estate. With its potential for passive income and capital appreciation, real estate can be a powerful tool in your financial freedom toolbox. It's not just for the wealthy or the financially savvy. With the right knowledge and strategies, anyone can tap into the benefits of real estate investing. We also discussed how to start your real estate journey. It's not about jumping in head first without a plan. It's about understanding your financial situation, setting clear goals, and creating a plan that aligns with those goals. It's about educating yourself, seeking advice, and making informed decisions. Now, the path ahead is yours to take. The journey towards financial freedom through real estate is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's a journey that requires patience, persistence, and a willingness to learn. It's a journey that can be challenging, but also incredibly rewarding. Remember, the first step is always the hardest. But once you take that step, you're on your way to a future of financial freedom, a future where you're in control of your finances, a future where you have the freedom to live life on your terms. Hello, my friends. Before you click off the video, I wanna say one thing. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. You reaching this point is hopefully proof that I've provided some kind of value to you in some way or another. 
So be sure to hit the like button if you want to see more videos around the topics of business, money, and finance in general, then be sure to hit the subscribe button. But with all of that being said, my friends, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks. In the next video, we'll delve into the 10 things you should not buy in 2024. See you there.